And there they go. Frosty the Dragon, Deficit Hawk Show Pace. Here's Rico Capote from the inside, winning with honors up close. So to his one summer night in Macho Maya. It's a very compact group. Rico Capote, the expected speed, three parts of a length to Deficit Hog. Frosty the Dragon's in the clear, and he's up close. One summer night's in range. On the turn back, flanked by winning with honor. Two and a half for three off the lead. Tight spot for winning with honor. Then we go to Macho Maya. The race to the three eights. Rico Capote, Deficit Hawk, and Frosty the Dragon. One summer night shares fourth with winning with honor. Macho Maya's five lengths off the lead. Deficit Hawk from between runners. Frosty the Dragon from his outside. Rico Capote staying there. Winning with honors in the two path. One summer night has the rail. And at the tail of the field is Macho Maya. They turn for home. Frosty the Dragon and Deficit Hawk. Winning with honor in the two path. Rico Capote then one summer night. And Macho Maya. Frosty the Dragon's the leader at the 8th pole. Winning with honor up the inside. Deficit Hawk to the stand side. It's Frosty the Dragon. Winning with honor up the inside. Frosty the Dragon and winning with honor. Winning with honor and Frosty the Dragon and it's tight. Frosty the Dragon are winning with honor. $7. The trifecta $80.25 and the dollar super $237.25. 6547 in the opener. Second race is clear of change, and post time is in 23 minutes at 137. And there they go. Out for the lead, Trapes in Utopia, a reluctant pacemaker. It is very soft early. Moment of triumph from the inside. Passion Police wants to go. Naz wants her to sit right there. Mom's Law from the inside, then Atacama, and Stream of Gold is at the back. So the pace is extremely soft. Moment of triumph, vying for the top spot with Trapes and Utopia. Passion Police has been eager from the very beginning. She's stalking three deep. Atacama's four wide. Mom's Law is only two and a half off the pace. And Stream of Gold is reserved through the early stages. Five lengths covers the six mares. They enter the back stretch. Trapes and Utopia, Moment of Triumph. Passion Police still wants to go. And she sits third from the outside. Atacom is the widest up the back stretch. Bombs Law's three lengths off the lead. And it's about two and a half to Stream of Gold trying to get a little closer from the back marker. Absolutely crawling. 26 seconds the opening quarter. 51 seconds for the half. Trapes in Utopia, moment of triumph. Passion Police presses three wide. Atacama's four deep at the three eights, and she's three lengths off the lead. Mom's Law, four lengths from the front at the mercy of the soft pace. And Stream of Gold, how's she going to win from there? The pace has been very soft throughout, and she's eight off the lead. Moment of triumph. Passion Police now finally trying to get up to the front. And here comes Mom's Law on the fourth spot. Trapes in Utopia staying on from between runners. Trapes in Utopia, moment of triumph. Passion Police now under left-handed urging and mom's law has the fourth position moment of triumph and trapes in utopia and passion police and mom's law tries to pick up the pieces to the far outside trapes in utopia moment of triumph mom's law passion police trapes in utopia mom's law to the outside did the 11 year old get up if so, it's her six sixty-two dollar exact, the fifty-seven dollar trifecta, the dollar super, four hundred nine dollars fifty cents. Six one early double, sixty-seven dollars fifty cents. Race three, we'll start our twenty cent jackpot pick six carryover, just shy of ten thousand five hundred. And there they go, slow start for Top Hat Voyager. Analyze Your Luck is out for the lead inside of Curlin's New Moon. Zandy Lane third. Tell Me a Fuki Story has the fourth spot. Then Undeniable Temper. Gusty Wind from the Rail. Dublin Ruckus in the two path. And Top Hat Voyager is the early trailer. Analyze Your Luck will make the pace. About two lengths to the favorite Curlin's New Moon. Tell Me a Fuki Story's third. Four lengths off the lead. About a length and a quarter back to Sandy Lane. Another two and a half to Gusty Wind. Dublin Ruckus, Undeniable Temper, three deep. Top Hat Voyager, four wide, entering the back stretch. 24 and four fifths. Analyze your luck and Oscar Gomez. Make the pace to the five eighths. Two lengths. Curlin's New Moon stays close. Stalking very smartly in the second position. Tell me a Fuki story and Sandy Lane are third and fourth and they're a little more than three off the lead. Three, three and a half back to Top Hat Voyager, gaining some ground. He's gone from last to fifth. Then Undeniable Temper, Dublin Ruckus, Gusty wins the last of all. 
49 and two fifths. Analyze your luck and Curlin's new moon making his move to the outside. Tell me a Fuki story's third, three off the lead. Zandy Lane, three and a half for four from the front, little deep. Here's Top Hat Voyager. He's closing steadily along the inside. Top Hat Voyager, five lengths off the lead. Looks like it's Curlin's New Moon's race at the top of the lane. He gets to the front, and he's kicking clear. Curlin's New Moon putting away Analyze Your Luck. Far outside, tell me a fooky story now trying to hit his stride. Dublin Ruckus up the inside. Curlin's New Moon stayed close to the soft pace, and he has kicked clear past the 16th. Curlin's New Moon in front. Tell me a Fuki story, second from Dublin Ruckus, and fourth place is tight. Analyze your luck. 7-2 exact at $35.80, 7-2-4 trifecta, $61.75, the dollar super, $395.50. A 1-7 double, $31.40, 6-1-7 early pick three, $64.37. And there they go. Out for the lead is Celtic Songstress with Wrong Side of History. Walleye wants to show pace from the rail. Pippi comes away in fourth. They'll go to Fortune's Girl. High Spirited second last. A little bit blue. The lone debutante is the last of all. From the inside, Walleye joins Celtic Songstress. Wrong Side of History pursues third. I'm going to Fortune's Girl, and Pippi's in the clear from the outside. Even farther out, High Spirit in Little Bit Blue. They race to the 3 eights. Walleye and Celtic Songstress. Fortune's Girl gets a little closer from the inside. Wrong side of history is backpedaling. Pippi has the fourth position, a little more than two and a half off the lead. High Spirit it is wide. Little Bit Blue's the widest of all. There's many chances at the top of the lane. And Pippi's trying to close in with the white face. Here comes Pippi, one from the outside. Walleye still with the lead. Pippi's making her move. High Spirited is also quickening. Pippi from between runners. High Spirited to the stand side. Walleye from the inside. Three-way thriller at the 16th. High Spirited and Walleye. Pippi is third, then wrong side of history. High Spirited, Walleye's all heart from the inside. High Spirited. High Spirited from Walleye, then Pippi and winner to start the pick five. 6-1 exacto, $104.50. 6-1-7 trifecta, $69.75. Dollar super, 6174, $289 and some change. 7-6 double, $45.80. One seven six pick three, fifty-three dollars seventy-five cents. Pick four. And there they go. Honor Thy Secret is out for the lead. With Invasion bound, Biggs Gray Day wants to go. Honorable Gibson is fourth. Then Sen Rima take the edge to the extreme outside. Bubba Chuck advances inside of Teresa's boy. And Center Street is the distant trailer. On the front end, Biggs Gray Day. And to his outside is Invasion bound. Honor Thy Secret from off the pace this afternoon despite stretching out. And he's more than five and a half or six from the lead. It's two and a half to Sen Rima, who races with Honorable Gibson. Another length and a half to take the edge. To his inside races Bubba Chuck. Teresa's boy second last. Center Street is at the back of the pack. The clip is pretty good for the level. 23 and three fifths. Big's great day. Almost a length. Invasion bound is second. Honor thy secret. Still about six or six and a half off the lead. Another length and a half to Bubba Chuck advancing from between runners. Zen Rima being pushed on from the inside. Break of Ford. Honorable Gibson then take the edge. Teresa's boys three behind them. Center Street can see them all. Big's great day went quick on the lead and he's built it up. Big's great day by nearly eight lengths. Look at this performance so far. Bubba Chuck has the second spot. Sen Rima fires into third. Then honor thy secret. Invasion bound is quitting. Here's to the far outside. Take the edge. But it's Biggs Gray Day. 13 to 1 on the board. He's the one to reel in. Bubba Chuck continues to close after him. Biggs Gray Day, the leader at the eighth pole. Bubba Chuck is a distant second. Sen Rima's third. Then take the edge from the inside. Race is center street, but Big's Gray Day, he did all the work early. He's coming to a walk late, but he's well clear. Big's Gray Day in a big upset. From Bubba Chuck, San Rima, take the edge fourth for the super. And Mariah Thoroughbreds, LLC. Exact to 2 four, $120, 248 trifecta, $68.50. A 6-2 double, $366.50. The pick three, seven six two three hundred eight dollars twenty five cents. 
And there they go. No sense of showing speed from the far outside. Mo and Go is also forwardly positioned. Here's Destiny's Charge. Isaiah, Isaiah amongst the leader line. Lake Rudolph from the inside. Last look at the cat from the outside. Then we go to Kodiak Brown. He races inside of Political. Jerry's Junkyard second last. His boy Elroy is the last of 10. Mo and Go has the lead. Lake Rudolph is to his inside in second. Isaiah, Isaiah is from his outside in third. And farther out is no sense. He's deep entering the back stretch. From between runners, we have Destiny's Charge with the green silks. One from the outside. Last look at the Cats. A little more than three and a half off the lead. Past the five eights. Three lengths to Kodiak Brown. Isolated in the seventh position. They're going to Jerry's Junkyard. Political. His boy Elroy's at the back. Mo and Go still calling the shots. Flanked by Isaiah. Isaiah. Destiny's charged three wide. No sense has been deep throughout. He's four wide heading into the turn. Lake Rudolph saves ground five lengths off the pace. Another length and a half to last look at the cat. Four lengths to his boy Elroy. His boy Elroy is closing along the inside. Kodiak Brown is a length behind him. I'm going to political. And Jerry's junkyard is at the back. Mo and Go and Isaiah. Isaiah. His boy Elroy continues to close. He makes a move for third. Lake Rudolph tries to quicken with him. And farther out in the field, there is Destiny's Charge. The favorite, Mowen goes, the one to come and catch. Mowen goes, the leader at the eighth pole. Isaiah, Isaiah remains in second, but he's losing ground. Lake Rudolph up the inside, then his boy Elroy. Kodiak Brown taking off late, minor placing. Mowen go at eight to five. Mowen go for two out of three. Isaiah, Isaiah second. Third and fourth involves Lake Rudolph and Kodiak Brown. 2-3 exact to $22. 231 trifecta, $34.87. The dollar super, 2316, $561.50. A 2-2 two -two double, $70.50. 622 two pick three, $277.75. Seventh race, scratch seven. And there they go. There is a storm brew and is sent out to the lead from post position two. Odin Steed is up close, so too is his stablemate Beta from the outside. Try and smarten up has the fourth position. And then we're going to Bucks Investment. Color Me Pazzi has been guided to the outside. Purple Silks. Now racing along the rail is Sneeds. The last two are Soul Fight and Dr. Marboos. There is a storm brew and establishes the pace by himself more than a length. Beta stays close, so too does Odin. Steed third from the inside. Try and smarten ups in the fourth spot, a good five off the lead. Two clear from Color Me Posse, who's in the clear with that big stride. Sneeds races with him from the rail. They get away from Buck's investment to this point. Two and a half to Dr. Marbu's inside of Zulfite. 23 and three the opening quarter, 47 and three fifths the half. There is a storm brewing better than a length to Odin Steed and Beta's third from the outside. Color Me Posse continues to improve his position. He's within five and a half. He's in the fourth spot and he's closing in steadily. Another three lengths to Dr. Marbuz is picking up his stride into fifth. Dr. Marbuz is on the move. The others have work to do. Try and smarten up Sneed, Soul Fight, and Bucks Investment. There is a storm brewing. He's the one to catch at the quarter pole. Both of the Ferraro trainees give chase. Beta second, Odin Steed third. Dr. Marbuz continues to close. He's vying for fourth with Color Me Posse. They still got to step up and get to there as a storm brewing. He needs one more furlong for the money. Odin Steed makes a big time challenge from the rail. Here's Odin Steed up the inside. Odin Steed finds the front, kicks for the wire. Odin Steed, Odin Steed is the winner. From there is a storm brewing. Beta distant third. Color Me Posse fourth. For the Super Reds and JMJ Racing Stable. One two exact to twelve dollars. The trifecta thirteen dollars twenty five cents. One two nine the winning combination. One two nine five dollar super. I'll get back to that one. The two one double twenty dollars. Two two one pick three fifty one dollars twenty five cents. And there they go. And the Tuesday night cap and rally cap comes away and last. So that's going to favor Showmanship, who looks to clear over. Silver Duke is second. Tap, 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 makes a move for that spot. Far from awesome is fourth. Here's Rally Cap trying to rush up and overcome the slow start. Mrs. Robin E looking for three in a row is five and a half off the pace, and Forecaster has six to find heading into the turn. 
and showmanship has taken full advantage of the slow start for rally cap showmanship three parts of a length rally cap tries to get on level terms and racing in third is Silver Duke, and he's progressing along the inside. Mrs. Robin E finds his stride. Tap, 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 back pedals. I'm going to forecaster. Looks like no carryover. It's far from awesome. It's struggling at the back. And Showmanship's the one to beat in the nightcap. Showmanship discouraging the bid from Rally Cap. How could Rally Cap overcome that slow start? Far outside, Mrs. Robin E. Ray Lou Gutierrez asking Showmanship to get this one to the winner's circle, and Showmanship is responding. Ray Lou with the late double. Showmanship gate to wire in the nightcap. From Mrs. Robin E. Forecaster third. Maybe far from Austin. The Ray Lou late double, $18.40. 219 late pick three, seventeen dollars sixty-two cents. Five out of five in the pick five, thirty-eight hundred twenty-four dollars and seventy-five cents. And look at the pick six. Somebody took it down. Nineteen thousand dollars plus.